Then use the level 3 card to get out of the door he was guarding and now you'll notice you're in the basement. Look into your items and you may notice that now you have the transmitter. Get rid of it. All it does is alert guards whenever you're on the same screen as them. Now this part of the game is pretty stupid and I'll tell you why in a second. First, kill any dog that gets in your way on this path, preferably while they're still sleeping. There'll be one right next to the door after you get out of the battle with Shoe Gunner. Now here's the part that doesn't make sense. You're supposed to punch these walls over here until you hear the soft spot just like in Grey Fox's cell. Then equip the plastic explosives and blow it up. How the hell does this game expect me to assume that this is what I should do? They could at least throw you a bone somewhere down the line, say, I don't know, take one of these assistants that never answers the radio and have one of them suggest something that hints you to check him for the walls to blow up. I don't know, maybe there is a hint somewhere that I don't know about yet, but I haven't seen it. Anyway, after you blast this wall, follow this path until you reach the end. Punch the left side of the wall until you hear the sound again, blow that one up as well and follow the path. When you get to the screen, blow another hole in this wall and keep going until you reach this door. Use the level 3 card to get in and grab the bomb blast suit. Head back out to where you first got into this room, go north and punch the wall on the left until you hear that noise again. Blow it up, go into the room and grab the uniform. Then if you have any more plastic explosives, head down and when you get to the next screen, punch the wall in this area here, blow up that wall again and go in to get some more plastic explosives and some ammo. Then go back up and head to the elevator. If you're low or out of remote control missiles at this point, go back to the third floor and go back to this area just outside the gas room to stock up on them. Remember that they respawn. Then go to the second floor, hide behind the crates to sneak past the camera, take out the sleepy guard, and then head left and up. Get past these guards, use a level 3 card to get into this hallway, and move your ass to get by the rolling metal pipe of death. Move on past these guards, head into this open room and grab the landmines that are being protected by three sleeping guards. Then go into the room on the opposite side using the level 3 card and free a POW who informs you that the only way to get into the courtyard is by parachute. Keep heading south and you'll get to this room with a blue colored floor. If the guard here sees you, which he'll be able to easier than the other guards for some reason, he'll flip the switch on the wall and turn on the electric floor. So take him out and use the level 3 card to get into this room and grab the infrared goggles. You can't go through this door yet, so go back to the area with the three guards, slip down here, and keep your eye on the shifting camera that guards these two doors. In the right door, you'll get some ammo, and the room on the left has some explosives, but it's hard to get past it without setting off the camera, so watch its pattern and be careful. Then go back to the sleeping guard at the beginning of the floor. Take him out and head south where the motion sensors are. Put on your thermal goggles, and you'll be able to see where they are and avoid them. Use the level 1 card on this door to free a POW, then head west and use the level 3 card to get into this little cell and free another POW who informs you that Dr. Petrovich is being held in a solitary cell in the courtyard. You'll also be ranked up with this rescue. Head out, take out the guard and use the level 3 card to go through this door and you'll encounter Machine Gun Kid. His attacks are rapid so getting in front of him is a bad idea, and sneaking up on the side of him is worse cause he'll slide in your direction which will harm you. So just like with Shoot Gunner, equip the remote control missile and let him have it. After 4 shots, he's dead. Can't go into the door on the left side yet, so use the level 1 card on the other door and grab the parachute. Then go back to the elevator and head up to the roof. Now that you've got the bomb blast suit, you can equip it and walk on the roof without getting blown backwards. First head south, sneak by a few screens of guards and use the level 3 card to get into this room and grab some remote control missiles. Go back to the elevator area and head west until you hit a wall, sneaking past all the guards along the way. Then go south, enter the open room and grab some ammo. Then keep going until you hit the dead end, use the level 2 card to get into this room and rescue the POW. Now go back to where the guards were and go to this south passageway you skipped over earlier and you walk across two screens worth of this rickety bridge. Take your time with it, cause if you slip off the edge you're fucking dead. Once you get across you'll run into these guards on jetpacks. You'll be spotted right away, so move your ass west and dodge their gunfire. Once you get to the next screen, stop immediately because the floor in front of you is electrified. Fire off a remote control missile at the panel to eliminate the current and run to the door. Use the level 3 card to get in, kill off all the guards that come rushing in until the alert phase ends, and grab the mine detector. Head out and go back east, running past all the jetpack guards that will spot you again. Then you'll encounter a boss battle with a helicopter. They'll stay on the ground at all times and fire rapidly at you. Grab your grenade launcher and get over to the left side and sneak your way up into this position where its attacks won't touch you. If you try to take him head on, you're fucked. Fire off several grenades until it blows up. You'll then reach the end of the line. If you walk off, you're dead. 
So equip your parachute and you'll get a cutscene where Snake parachutes in front of a brick building backdrop. And two screens of it unnecessarily. You land out in the courtyard in front of three guard dogs. Take the pooches out, equip the mine detector, and head south. Now you can see the mines that are pretty much there to guard the truck on the right. Carefully walk between the mines, get into the truck, and grab the level 4 card. If you go into the truck on the left, it'll drive off and you'll end up on the other side of the courtyard near the beginning of the whole fucking game and you'll have to backtrack through everything, so take my word for it and beware of this truck. Now go back north and use the level 4 card to get into this door north of the dogs. It's Dr. Petrovich's cell, but you'll discover that he isn't there. Shit. Go back and head west, kill the two pups, and use the level 4 card to get into the door on the left. You'll rescue a POW who informs you that Petrovich was moved to building 2, which is 10 kilometers to the north. So use the level 4 card to get into the door you skip past and you'll end up back over here. Wait for the guards to leave just like the last time and go into the right truck to stock up on landmines. Then use the level 4 card to get through this door and sneak past the guards. Use the level 4 card on this door and you'll end up on the outside of building 1 in the desert. Equip the mine detector, avoid the mines, go into the truck on the left and grab the plastic explosives. Do not go into the truck on the right. It'll send you back to the area where you grab the level 4 card. It's not that far from where you are, but still a minor inconvenience and a waste of time and ammo to get back. So head north, avoid the mines, and get into the truck over here while trying to avoid the bombs that'll be dropping from the sky. In the truck you'll find rations, so use one if you need it and stock up, then move out and keep heading north. Now the weird thing about these desert screens is that if you head west or east, you'll loop back and end up on the other side of the same screen. And when these bombs are coming down, you'll be able to hear the whistling before they appear on the screen. So stay to the edge of the screen and once you hear the whistle, move to the other side against the edge and keep running. Repeat the process and you won't get hit by any of these bombs. Then you get to the next boss battle, a huge freaking tank. Equip your landmines and get behind the wall just to the side of the tank. It'll fire off a rapid shot of machine gun rounds, so wait until the tank is backed up a bit and when its attacks diminish, quickly run up and place a few mines down and retreat back behind the wall. The tank will never cross the border of the wall, so you don't have to worry about it smashing into you if you're behind this area. But be careful while placing the mines. If the tank runs you over, you're all done. And stay away from the middle, because it'll fire off a missile that'll fuck you up. So try to keep your mine placement to the far left or right sides where the tank is. Also, if you have mines already placed, don't go into the item menu and use a ration or do anything else, because when you return to the game screen, the mines will disappear and you've wasted them away. 11 mines or so should send the tank to hell and you can press on, but first go back to this truck and stock up on rations if you used any. When you get to the outside of building 2, you'll overhear the guards talk about not letting Snake in. Big Boss will call you up and tell you to put on an enemy uniform to get across to the building and that the frequency on his radio has been changed over to 120.33. Equip the uniform and just walk in front of the guards. They'll let you in, even though they don't recognize who you are. When you get in, head west, sneak past the guards, and use the level 4 card to get into this room. Grab the mines and ammo, and when you head back out, the guard across from the drainage ditch will spot you. So take out the one closest to you and run. Then head back, go into the drainage ditch, sneak past the guards, and use the level 4 card to open this door and... Oh god, a fucking bulldozer now? Battling a helicopter, a tank, and now a bulldozer by himself? This is why Solid Snake is the most badass motherfucker on the planet. Now, this thing's attack is pretty simple. Drive straight ahead. You can't go around it because the hallway is too narrow, so you're going to have to just fire constantly. Equip the grenade launcher before you even get into the room and fire as many grenades as you possibly can. You'll have to back up once you run low on room. If you're not going to make it, exit the room and come back in. Once you destroy it, use the level 4 card to go through the next door. Equip your thermal goggles to see the sensors, which will actually change the location, so watch the timing before you proceed. Then go into the elevator, which is a piece of shit and won't go down. Second and third floors are important, but you can't really get into any of the rooms yet, so go up to the roof where you'll be greeted immediately by several guards. Alert phase stays on throughout this portion, so don't waste your time, ammo, and health by killing off guards you don't need to. Thank you.